Hey everybody, welcome back to Gilly's Guns. So today we're going to do a, uh, oh, kind of a $2 upgrade on the Urmox. We're going to see what a polish job on this factory trigger will do for trigger pull. Now I can say that it doesn't have the factory disconnector in it because, or the factory connector as they call it, because it failed. Uh, right at the 100 round mark. So I replaced it with a standard Glock um, part. So other than that, this is the stock trigger. So let's see what uh, what the trigger pull actually is on this thing. We've got this one Tigris uh, pull gauge, which so I've got my one Tigris trigger pull gauge. This is a gauge that is. Uh, well, it'll allow you to pull a double action trigger and give you a reading. It doesn't overload, so that's kind of cool, but let's see what the Ermox does. 6.6 .6 pounds. Seven pounds, so uh, about you know six pounds, ten ounces or so is average. I don't know if this thing will give you average or not, but you can figure it out. Uh, six to seven pounds. So let's do a polish job, uh, just basically polishing the trigger components, and see how that helps the trigger pull. Alright guys, well I got it tore apart. I figure I better show you before I get too far into it. I've already started polishing a little bit, but basically this is the trigger block. Uh, this holds your uh, connector and uh, um, the sear. Well, the sear's on the trigger, but anyway, that all fits into that block. It is a little different than standard Glock, but uh, you know, it's the same principle. Uh, here's the connector. So what I'm going to polish, I already polished the striker. Uh, I've already polished the uh, firing pin safety plug. I'm going to polish the disc connector. And I do all this with a bench mounted uh, felt wheel basically, or cloth wheel. It's probably cotton. Um, and the only other thing I'll do, uh, because I don't want to take the whole trigger group out, I did take the pivot screw out, but I really don't want to pull the whole thing out. So I'll take my Dremel tool with a polishing uh, tip on it, and I'll clean all this, polish it all up. I can do it in here, and it just saves you the trouble of taking it out. You can see how black my fingers are. I haven't cleaned this thing since the thousand round uh, shoot. You know, I wanted to run a thousand rounds through it, and it's dirty. So when I'm done today, I'll go ahead and clean it. But uh, I'll wait until after I get the trigger back together. So we got a an example of a dirty, everything dirty uh, compared to everything dirty, not uh, uh, dirty and gritty and and then polished and and clean. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything polished up that I'm gonna polish. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, I got it back together here, and uh, this is all with the stock springs and everything, just polished. Six point three. I have to say the trigger pulls smoother. Six point four. And it looks to be more consistent. 6.2. So the trigger pull is much more consistent with just the polish job. But one thing I am going to change, and a, a viewer of mine mentioned this, that uh, the striker spring was dragging in the striker channel. So I've got a Zev spring that is a uh, smaller diameter. It's actually about uh, 6,000 smaller than the spring that came in the Ermox. So I'm going to change that out and see if that changes the trigger pull any. 
Be right back. All right, guys. Well, I got the Ze the uh, Zev striker spring in, and uh, I can't really see where there's been a lot of rubbing on the striker channel on this one, but it was fairly gritty in the uh, channel. So if I had better lighting in here, I might be able to see some rub marks. But anyway, let's see. Let's see what the trigger pull is with that uh, striker spring changed. 4.2. 4.1. I can tell you what, it is a lot more consistent being polished. 4.3 So uh, knocked a couple pounds off and I can say the trigger is much smoother and noticeably lighter. So now next nice day I'm going to have to take this thing out and make sure it uh, cycles uh, properly and hey maybe that's a uh, uh, two dollar trigger pull well technically uh, probably five dollar uh, uh, trigger job but it's not too bad if you can cut uh, two pounds off your trigger with five bucks uh, and it is definitely a lot smoother so anyway thanks for watching guys hope this helps some of you guys that bought in her mocks and uh, you know if you got any any questions I'm sure you can look uh, look up how to do a Glock trigger job on YouTube from an old video where uh, they actually showed that sort of thing but nowadays they get kind of funny about taking guns apart and putting them back together so um, anyway if you've ever done a Glock trigger job this is pretty much the same and uh, make sure to Make sure to try yours, do a little polish job, see what it does. Maybe put down in the comments there how your, uh, how your trigger improved. And I appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, hope you get, a, get out on the range and do some shooting your own. Hopefully you got better weather than I have today and uh, you get a chance to do that. I'll catch you on the next video.